Welcome back to another episode of Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, and today I'm going to show you how you can get some free music. Free music. You're working on a video project, say for school, or maybe you're a teacher and you want to create a little video and you need some music to go with the video that you're creating. Some kind of a little soundtrack maybe to some little movie that you're wanting to put on YouTube. The problem is, stuff will get yanked off YouTube if you use copyrighted music. Well, I'm going to show you we can get some free stuff that's royalty free for you to be able to use. First one I want to show you is freemusicarchive.org. Now, I will have all these links uh, at the askthetechies.com website for you to be able to click on and uh, bookmark and use to uh, at your leisure. Um, the first one here is freemusicarchive.org. And in here, you can see some of the stuff that's already here. Like this one here, hit there and hit play. There you go, and if you want it, you just click the download button here to be able to download it. See if I did that, it's going to pull up in my browser. There's a way to download what I want. I'll click cancel because I don't actually want to do that right now. Um, additional stuff you can look through. Recent activity. Some recent posts here, the fellowship of collecting. Here's some genres. So let's say I wanted something in sort of a jazz feel. Click on jazz. And you can scroll through and see different artists that are in there. So let's say we chose Steven Siebert, Become. There we go. Click play. Hopefully you can hear that. Nice little track. If you like it, you can just hit the down arrow to download. Now, you scroll down and you want to know, well, do I have rights to use it? Well, it shows right there. Um, Become by Steven Siebert is licensed under attribution, non-commercial, share-like license. Basically, Creative Commons license. Just like my Ask the Techies videos, you're welcome to copy them, use them, redistribute them, as long as you're not doing it for profit. If you're doing it for profit, you need to first get my permission. Same thing here if you want to do it for profit, you'd have to get permission from the artist and, you know, pay them a certain share of that profit. Um, but there's a way to share it. You can remix it to adapt the work to mix it into your video projects. Absolutely cool, absolutely legal. Encourage you to do it. And there's a huge selection for you to be able to pick from by looking at this stuff. So that's just one of the sites. You can go through and find lots of music on there. Another website I want to show you is Funky Remixes. Funkyremixes.com. And funkyremixes.com talks about what it is. It's free and legal music source, like the example they give right here. Um, you are free to listen, download, rip, remix, and share legally. There we go. I like that word, legally. So there's lots of content in here. Recently added mixes, it shows you. Featured mix that you can try to do. Um, and again, this stuff's based upon what people like to do. So you can click on there. Click on it, and you can take a look at some of the stuff that's in here. Electronic. So lots of music that you can grab that you can pop in and hit pause on that. <laughs> so again, this stuff is, uh, again, free for you to be able to use. Do check on each song just to make sure that it is in a listing of free to be able to use and, and, and modify and edit to, uh, for your projects. Okay? You can also feel free to dance to this music if you want. I won't dance for you, especially not on camera. I won't subject you to that sort of torture. Uh, another one I want to mention to you is www.jamendo.com. And there's lots of content in here, royalty-free, production music, fine music, there you go, different jazz topics you can go through there, browse through their website again, there's a jazz area, different ones, try to find music, and you can hit play, there you go. there's the little download button if you want to download it. I'll just close out of that. So again, another site, gemindo.com, where you can take a look at that. Opsound is another one I want to point out to you. This is also a place where you can share your music. In fact, a lot of these you can share your music. Uh, this really tries to create uh, a community in Opsound, and so you can upload stuff. If you scroll down, you can find out more about um, to enter your sounds in the pool. You register. There's more information on how it works to click on that. But you come over here. And you can see some of their music, like genre. Let's do genre. And so let's go blues. And how about this first song? What's really inside? Let's see what that sounds like. And 
There we go. Tap on that. And it's going to download the MP3 for me for me to be able to listen to. Um, just click continue. It should be able to play it. I don't need that quick time. It shouldn't have given me that error message. It should have been able to play this. It's probably just still downloading it. Um, but one of the things you can do on something like that is actually right click and do save uh, link as. And that's where you can get a, an option usually in the browser for you to be able to download and save the file to your hard drive. Anyway, um, let's go back. So anyway, that's OpSound. I wanted to point that one to you. Another one I'll point out to you is dig.ccmixter.org. 